Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Kingdom Cyclonus. And this decal set includes two decal sheets, one on vinyl backing and one on foil. So now let's take a look at Cyclonus both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Cyclonus looks awesome. This is my favorite figure out of the Kingdom line so far. He just looks so cartoon accurate. And my only real complaint with the figure is the face sculpt. I feel like his chin needed to be a little bit more narrow. But other than that, the guy looks amazing. He's pretty much a all lavender collar, except for some dark purple highlights there on the horns, here on the wings on the knees and the toes. Of course, it looks like he has a little bit of a different variation of purple right there on the knees. He also has translucent orange on the stomach, right there on the chest, and for the eyes, which actually have some really good light piping. Get my lamp in behind there. I love how that looks. I just don't like how it's orange. I think Cyclonus should have red eyes. He also has a great looking Decepticon logo right there on the chest. And that's about it. A really awesome looking figure. And I can't wait to see how he's going to look after the Toy Hacks treatment. So there you go, guys. One final look at Cyclonus in robot mode before and after. Cyclonus's robot mode gets quite the upgrade thanks to Toy Hacks, starting with his head first. He gets brand new red eye decals with some smaller black decals that go right above to give the eyes a little bit more depth. And that looks so good. I hate losing the light piping, but the red eyes work so much better for Cyclonus. He also gets a goatee because he's evil and all evil characters get a goatee and new neck decals. So all this new look right here makes him look a little bit more G1 cartoon accurate. I love that. That looks awesome. He also gets new decals right here along the chest. A brand new larger Decepticon logo there. Along the shoulders, he gets new decals right there to break up all that purple. On the upper arm, he gets some decals there, kind of a silver and gray look. On the forearms, he gets dark blue decals with a silver decal right there and new purple chrome decals that actually wrap around the forearms and extend up to the fin. Now, these decals, be very careful and pay attention to what you're applying and the shapes because they're broke up quite a lot. So you gotta make sure and match up which decal goes where. And as you can see, they do not go all the way around. There is a little space right there. So those are a little bit tricky. Here for the chest as well, you get new decals right here underneath the pecs and a new decal that goes around the chest to kind of give him a little bit more depth. There's also a new decal here for the stomach area and an optional decals or optional decals are these decals right here along the sides. They're kind of a blue green and I really didn't understand that color scheme at first, but it actually works. It just really breaks up everything. Moving on down to the crotch, he gets a new decal here, new red decals for the knees, and new purple decals right there above the feet. And then inside the legs, he gets new red decals right there. So Cyclonus looks awesome now. I really love how those decals break up all that lavender and purple. So there you have Cyclonus in robot mode after. 
in vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Cyclonus once again looks amazing. He looks so cartoon accurate. I love this figure. I love this vehicle. He looks great. Now, in vehicle mode, he has a lot more silver, as you can see right here on the nose cone. There's the dark purple there along the sides, here on the wings, and he's got a translucent plastic there for the cockpit. And really, that's about it. So there you have one final look at Cyclonus in vehicle mode before. And after. Now the first decals you're probably noticing in vehicle mode is the new decals here for the cockpit. Those decals cover up the translucent orange, so he now has more of a red and black tint through the windows. Right there, he gets a brand new purple decal, new Decepticon logo there on the nose cone, Moving along the side of the vehicle, he gets new decals with some orange stripes right there along the wings. Purple decals right here up front. Orange decals there on the back. New decal right there. And on the tail fin, he gets purple chrome looking decals there. And chrome decals that wrap all the way around the thrusters. So there you go, guys. Cyclonus in vehicle mode after. Toy Hacks, once again, knocks it out of the park with this decal set for Kingdom Cyclonus. Though I was a little surprised that we didn't get more Generation 1 throwback decals, but still, this set looks amazing and greatly improves what I already thought was a near-perfect figure. Now, I want to take a moment right now to give a big shout-out to my good friend, Firetox. Firetox makes 3D printed weapons and accessories for figures and hooked me up with this sword and scabbard for Cyclonus. As you can see, this attaches right to Cyclonus's back. You can pull the sword right out, which looks really good and fits perfectly in his hand. So there we have Cyclonus with his sword and blaster. Now, from what I understand, the sword is from IDW, so... I'm not that familiar with why Cyclonus wields a sword, but he still looks awesome. So if you're interested in a Cyclonus sword for your Cyclonus, check out Firetox's information in the description of this video. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!